What is electricity? Where does it come from? Electricity is a form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles such as electrons or protons. Renewable energy refers to energy generated from sources that are continuously and naturally replenished. This could be heat from the sun, or energy of motion, from water, or wind. Energy generated from water is called hydroelectric power, and this is the type of power that's generated at the Tongariro Power Scheme. Hydroelectric power is one of the most efficient and cleanest ways to create energy because it makes use of a natural resource that's completely renewable. To create electricity from water, it's collected from a lake or river and with gravity is channeled down through tunnels and large pipes called penstocks into a power station like Tokanu. This powerful flow of water passes through a turbine, forcing it to rotate at a high speed. As the turbine spins, it turns a shaft which is attached to a series of electromagnets. These magnetic fields pass through a conductor and create an electrical current. In the 1950s, New Zealand's population was growing rapidly and demand for electricity was increasing. To meet this demand, a decision was made by the government to build the Tongariro Power Scheme using water from the Moafango, Whangaehu, Tongariro and Whanganui catchments. Construction of the power scheme was a large job. It took from 1960 to 1983 to complete and now harnesses the water of 36 streams and rivers including four lakes over an area of 2,600 square kilometres. The water for the scheme flows from these waterways through a vast network of dams, man-made canals and water tunnels up to 19 kilometres long. Within the scheme, there are three power stations. Mangaio, the underground Rangipo station, and the Tokanu station. Combined, they produce around 3.5% of New Zealand's total annual electricity. This is enough electricity to power a city the size of Hamilton. The Tokanu power station is the brains of the operation and has a generation control team who work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, running the entire power scheme as well as the power stations at Waikare Moana and Lake Tekapo in the South Island. The Tongariro Power Scheme covers an area so large it is divided into four sections. The Western Diversion, the Eastern Diversion, the Tongariro Section and the Rotoaira Section. The Western Diversion draws water from six tributaries of the Upper Whanganui River and uses a 16.5 km tunnel to take water through to Lake Tefaya. From there, the water flows through a canal to the man-made lake Otamangako and down the Wairehu Canal to Lake Rotoaira. Minimum flows are maintained below our intakes on several streams for fuel. Our iconic blue duck. These birds indicate healthy high country streams and now thrive on the western diversion. The eastern diversion includes water from the Wahianua Aqueduct, which has 22 intakes. From there, the water passes into the man-made lake Moafawa. Water is then taken through a tunnel to the Rangipo Dam, 
on the Tongariro River. The Tongariro section uses water from the Eastern Diversion, the Waihohonu Stream and the Tongariro River catchment, with water tunnelled directly from the Rangipo Dam to the underground Rangipo Power Station. Rangipo Power Station was built underground to minimise the environmental impacts on the surrounding forest park. Water from the Rangipo Power Station is then discharged back to the Tongariro River at Potu Intake. Water is diverted at the intake via Potu Canal to Lake Rotoaida. A flow on the river is maintained downstream of the intake for recreational activities such as rafting, kayaking, fishing and for aquatic river habitat. The Rotoaira section is central to the whole scheme as it's where the eastern and western diversion waters converge at Lake Rotoaira. This water then flows into the Tokanu intake, down through the tunnels and penstocks to the Tokanu power station, and out the man-made tail race to Lake Topo. Once electricity is generated at the power stations, it must pass through a transformer contained in an outdoor switchyard to make it compatible for distribution on the national grid. Local network providers then distribute the electricity to consumers throughout the country. It then powers factories in Hamilton and porch lights in Taupo. And even heats up pots of afternoon tea for our most demanding customers. Ourselves. Nice and hot. When Genesis Energy took over the scheme in 1999, we were determined to strike a balance between the country's electricity requirements, the needs of the community and the surrounding environment. In providing power to the country, a range of measures were put in place to lessen any effects on the environment. These include resource consent conditions, agreements with key stakeholders and voluntary partnerships. Genesis Energy actively monitors and manages these effects in consultation with the regional councils, the Department of Conservation, iwi and other groups. Striking a balance between these different needs, that's our goal and we take it seriously. Genesis Energy.